Um, happy to be here. It's been two really good loan spells I've enjoyed here, but I think it was the right time. Obviously, I went down to Newcastle. Might not have what happened the way maybe you'd imagine when you first go there, but when I came up on loan, and especially when the manager came in, I knew that's where I wanted to be next season, just to, like, to get the deal over the line. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think everyone just wants to keep going from where we left off last year. I mean, there's always that little from the fans of it, maybe don't know what the season's going to bring, but this season it's just been outrageous how much optimism has been around the full camp, around the full town as well. It's just, I think we're just there to get going. I think the manager as well will be the first to tell you that I think our aim for the season is just to take every game as it comes, starting with the Betfred Cup matches, but when it does get into the league, just try and win every game when we get up against it. You don't really look ahead to what's going to happen, but obviously we got last six last season and that sort of set the benchmark for us, but just a matter of winning games and letting the season take care of itself. Oh, definitely. I mean, like even towards the end of last season, you've seen the numbers that we're getting for some of the games. Like, we played Aberdeen in the Cup, and it's potentially one of the best atmospheres I've played in. Then even silly things like when I signed, just like the buzz on social media that I've never experienced before, especially the last few times I've been at Kelly. It's just the fans know that we've done something really good last season. I think they're all looking to get behind us and keep it going for the season ahead. Not even just for the fans. I think no matter what team you are, whatever level you are, it's always important to start well. We're looking to hit the ground running. We've had a couple of really, really strong, good weeks of pre-season under our belts. I think we're ready to show what, what we've been putting in. Yeah, I mean, it's always it's always hard like, if there's 10 or 11 new faces in a season. Like, it might take a little bit to gel, but the first thing the manager done at the end of the season, which was really good, is he got all the boys signed up. And I think... He signed up a real good nucleus of a squad that I think we're all comfortable with and we all trust each other and I think that can only stand in good stead going forward. <laughs> it's It doesn't need to do anything in particular, we all just, we trust him 100% and we know that what he's doing is for the best of us at all times and if he's got a squad that are 100% committed to him, which he has, it just I think it just shows what he's done for us and how we're all willing to do whatever we need to do to one, get his team and two, produce the results for him. I think it was down to numerous amount of factors. Like one, of course, was the way the season went last season. It went far beyond any of my expectations. Like when I first came up, I knew they were struggling, but to finish where we were was unbelievable. Plus, you've got a manager that a lot of people maybe if I put myself down. I played a Mac Alibar. I was lucky to work with somebody like the gaffer. And then again, just the way the fans have been with it, it's just it's a numerous amount of factors, but for me it was one of my easiest decisions I've had to make so far in my career. I actually quite like the idea. Um, you always get a lot of friendly matches and sometimes you can play as many friendlies as you want, but then when the league starts, it catches out a little bit. But then to go straight into competitive games, knowing that you're playing for important results, it's I think it's a good way to get going and then you can build yourself straight in the season, so by the time the league season starts, one, hopefully in the second round of the cup, and two, you're playing at the top of your level. Obviously last season they were unbelievable under Jack Ross, they've got a new manager now, so maybe it's a little bit of an unknown quantity what they're going to produce, but you know they're going to be a good team, they've signed a lot of good players, and they've still got a very good core squad from last season, so it's a game that we know is going to be a very difficult one, but we're hoping if we can tackle it head on we can get the result that we want.